answer Stiagni on 3 and I am here to tell you the real life deployment of wireless sensor networks. But before that, I would like to tell you that how the wireless sensor network works because then it will, it will be easier for you not only to understand why wireless sensor is required to do the job but also how it actually does the job. So, a wireless sensor network can be defined as a network of devices that can communicate the information gathered from a monetized field through wireless links. This data is forwarded through multiple nodes and with a gateway. The data is connected to other networks like wireless ethernet. So basically there is a sensor that sends the environment, collects the data. And this data can be anything like pressure, temperature, sound, distance, anything. And then they send this data to a server or a database through Wi-Fi because it's wireless. Now, you must be wondering where can we use this data? Well, the answer is a lot of things. Websites like ThinkSpace helps not only to manage and store this data, but also to analyze this data. And once this data is analyzed, it can be used in so many things like predicting patterns, making IoT projects more efficient, monitoring air monitorizing the air quality, smart farming, and so much more. Now, the WSN has always been a very promising technology. The opportunity is offered by being able to program a small, lightweight, low-powered, and low-bandwidth device. Have always amazed and attracted a large number of researchers and developers. But what is the reason that it is being used in these days a lot? The answer is the Industrial Revolution 4.0. In general speaking, the Industrial Revolution 4.0 describes the growing trend towards automation of data, exchange in technology and process within the manufacturing industry. The Internet of Things, the Industrial Internet of Things, Cyber Physical System, and smart manufacturing. This, aut this automation creates a manufacturing system whereby the machine in the factories are augmented with wireless connectivity and sensors to monitor and visualize the entire production process and make autonomous decisions. This primarily focuses on the use of large-scale M2M Internet of Things deployment to provide the likes of incremented automation, improved communication and monitoring as well as smart machines that can analyze and diagnose the issues without any human intervention. Because we still need to sense those things. Talking about industries, there are a few companies who have been able to commercialize this idea of using wireless sensors. With the help of WSN and IoT, these companies are able to design products with, who are so ahead of time that even thinking about them 10 years ago was a dream. The first one is the Philips Hue light bulb. Can you even think of controlling your home lighting with use of your with the help of a smartphone even when you are not at home? Yes, this basically what this is basically what Philips Hue does. It, it comes in two variations: Bluetooth and the bridge. The Bluetooth control system controls the lights within the Bluetooth range. You, you can even change the color of Philips Hue Bluetooth compatible bulb with Hue Bluetooth app. It is done using IoT. The second one is the Hue Bridge. 
which is a modern which is a modern type of device adding a hue bridge activates a built-in zb network it is more advanced it has more lightning features you can even add up to 50 bulbs and even set routines so much more now, the second product is the mi mopper and sweeper it has 12 different multi-directional sensors and uses laser distance sensors lsds for navigation and scan the complex environment for for accuracy and avoid obstacles within while cleaning this tech means the mi robot vacuum mop p can scan your room in 360 degree within an 8 meter range so basically it makes a 3d map of your its surrounding so that to avoid bumping into any furniture with the help of wireless sensors that are built in it. The next real life deployment of wireless sensor networks is for security and it has many parts. The first one is the wireless cameras. When security cameras were first introduced, they had to be connected to an electrical source to function. Some, ca some cameras still work this way. This wired camera relied on video cables to transmit the video signals to a viewing device like a TV or a computer. Remember in any movie scene when one can just plug some wires in your CCTV network and they have access to all the footage? Well, not anymore. With wireless security cameras, the video signal and in some cases the audio signal is transmitted with the help of internet or other wireless networks to a receiver that connects that connects to a receiver that connects you to a viewing device many people use computer or cloud storage account to store this video footage and for later reviewing these security cameras use broadband or short range technologies like z waves to communicate with the control panel or a, or a connected smart device. Another part of security is the WIPS, the Wireless Intrusion Prevention System or WIDS, the Wireless Dete Intrusion Detection System. The WIPS, monitors the, the WIPS monitors the radio spectrum for the presence of unauthorized ROG access point and the use of wireless attack. A system monitors the radio spectrum used by wireless LANs and immediately the system admins and alerts the system administrator whenever a wrong access point is detected. Continuously, it is achieved by comparing the MAC addresses of the participating wireless device, but the wrong device can spoof the MAC address of an authorized network of an authorized network device as their own. This very technology is used by people at IIT Kharagpur to help the farmers around them. What they have done is they put a bunch of sensors around the field and whenever there is an intrusion, it alerts the farmers. It could be a cattle, it could be a human, but the farmers always get the alert. The WIDS is actually a broader concept than catching the break-in attempts. It also includes verifying the access point that are there on the network, identifying if identifying any that shouldn't be there or have a security issue and, det and detecting attacks on the client and APs. Remember when Syria attacked a pass passenger plane thinking it's a fighter jet from Israel? Yeah, that was bad. It basically happens because the, because the system is able to detect the intrusion and not the intruder. The system is still in research and being developed. Thank you for watching. And for any queries or questions, please comment below. I would love to answer them. I'm Srishti Agnihotri and thank you for watching.